I'm super excited about this lead sled 1950 Merc that we've got here. This car would make James Dean proud. Uh, we've had a lot of 50 Mercs over the years. Well, I shouldn't say a lot, but we've had a fair number of them. And I think this is one of my favorites. It's just so refreshing. The fadeaway color, it's a light yellow and to a darker yellow and the purple flames and the off-white interior and his frame up restored and vintage air. It's just a really nice car. Only about 650 miles on the car since the ground up build. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can look at all the pictures top to bottom, read all the information about the car. And that is where you'll find a price tag on every car we have for sale, along with the monthly finance option as well. That's at volocars.com. Now, if you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click the bell icon, and you'll be notified when the new ones are posted. And if you decide you really are excited about the car, go on our website and click the Buy It Now button and get it locked in. That will hold it for you. But right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. Yeah, this is a nice car, folks. Body was off the frame. The hole underneath is really nice. And honestly, I don't see that very often. I think the Mercury guys figure, well, it's low to the ground. Who's going to see under there? But I've had killer show cars. You look underneath and they weren't really that pretty. Uh, but anyway, this is like new underneath the car. It's a stock frame, all clean. Actually, very clean chassis. It's not even pitted or anything. And the floors, for that matter, all smooth metal. Not cut up, not patched or caulked or undercoated or... Uh, just nice, clean metal painted semi-gloss black. It does have an aftermarket front clip uh, with some polished tubular control arms. They're probably stainless steel. It has rack and pinion steering up front. Uh, in back, it has uh, the leaf springs and shocks were replaced. has lowering blocks. This car rides on air. It has an air ride set up at all four wheels. In the glove box are the switches and the uh, gauge as an onboard compressor. I dropped it down when I pulled it in here, and then we can raise it back up uh, when we pull it out. Uh, disc brakes in front, drum and back, all the lines, uh, e-brake, all that's hooked up, all you know, looks like new. Fuel systems all replaced. Looks like an electric fuel pump's underneath there. Uh, you look up at the motor, it's nice and clean. It does have an extra capacity oil pan. Uh, it's a turbo 350 automatic trans and a Ford 9-inch rear. But everything under the car is tidy, proper, you know, neat, clean, uh, better than most of the Mercs I look at. And it has the, uh, the typical uh, lead sled chopped Merc uh, customizations. They've chopped the top. They did a really nice job of it. You wouldn't know where or how they did it. Uh, typically, the, this gets tilted down. They take it out up front there and they cut the pillars here. Um, it's been shaved, it has a piece of trim across here, but there's usually a lower molding. Door handles are removed. It opens with these hidden buttons on the lights right here. Uh, so all the trim, fuel filler, I don't remember what side it was on, but the fuel door is gone. Um, everything on the trunk, this is called, it, it was decked when there's no lock. All the trim that's all removed and filled Custom French tail lights with like bubble lenses. It's got fender skirts. And the body work is really nice. I mean, this is straight. Uh, wherever they did body work, it's not cracking or popping or bubbling. This is all really nice, beautiful work. Lines up nice, square, even along the bottom. All smooth, no issues. The hood lines up beautifully. So there's a lot going on up front. They nosed the car. That means the hood ornament and all the trim was taken off. They rounded the corners. It has French headlights and turn signals. Uh, custom grill. So the paint. I know Gene Winfield was uh, really into the fadeaway. Uh, it was something that was popular on these cars. But look, it's a nice yellow cream up here. And then it, they did a nice job fading it to yellow down here. It's a little chip touched up. Paint is polished like glass. And then you got these purple metallic flames outlined in like a turquoise color. I think it's just killer. I think it's just awesome. I love it. 
And the paint is fantastic, smooth and glossy. Uh, it is metal flake. You really see the yellow sparkle, uh, even the lighter yellow sparkles when the light hits it. It has the custom pinstripe uh, color match to the flames. I don't know what the bumper is, but this is all custom and different, and it's been made smooth. In other words, there's no bumper bolts to hold the bumper on. They got rid of all that. Uh, these little exhaust tips, they turn up a little bit too. That's kind of cool. The glass is nice and clear. has the lake pipes on the side. The stainless is polished. This little bit of chrome, all done really nice. Sometimes when they cut this, it's kind of sloppy. They did a great job. All the glass is replaced. There you go there. You just hit the button, open the door. Door shuts nice. Has these ports right here, little flames in there. Nice, smooth, polished wiper arms. It must really be raining outside right now. Sombrero hubcaps, all four of them, even behind the skirts. Radial DF Goodrich white walls. Custom front bumper. Boy, it's really coming down. No bumper bolts. This is a, a modified Corvette grill. HID headlights. Let's take a tour of the inside. Apologize about all the noise from the rain, but the show must go on, I guess. Now, the trunk actually just lifts open. And it's completely upholstered even the bottom side of the trunk lid and it looks like we had some tape holding that up we might have glued it and then uh, taped it to hold it there while it glues drying so we'll we'll take care of that uh, but you can see it's all upholstered this door does open there's a room behind there this is your battery this is where you fill the fuel uh, you got a neat little compartment right here and i wish i knew where this was but this car was part of a pretty impressive uh, collection. Someone had a really impressive man garage there uh, with some nice cars and, and stuff on display. Nice carpet. So pretty cool trunk compartment. The interior is this nice, you know, light uh, color. It's not showing anywhere because there's only about 630 miles on the car. It's all very sculpted door panels, um, done very nicely. It's got power windows. The metal inside the car, the window frames and the dash is like a pearl color. You can see it's all painted beautifully, pinstriped. Uh, Dakota digital gauges. I think that's pretty cool. All the chrome sparkles. Now, leave me in your comments. Do you know what that is? What the purpose of that is for? Got electric wipers. Here's the switches for your air conditioning. You could use those wipers today, huh? And this is your stereo. And these are the switches for the air ride. And you got a gauge. That's done very nicely. Pinstripe. Look at the nice AC vents, the speakers. Some nice effort and work put into that. Nice light carpet. They're not stained. It's all bound edges. Uh, this is, I believe, a 60 Impala steering wheel on a tilt column. The seats are all upholstered. Done very nice. Behind the seats. The back seat kind of wraps around a little bit. Custom side panels and speakers. The rear shelf is all, you know, stitched, and uh, look at this cool headliner. Uh, I'm six foot, and I fit in here with no problem. Uh, very comfortable car. But this is very nice in here, very fresh, very well done. Big shiny sill plates, too. The leather strips are soft. The seals around the windows were replaced. Show quality engine compartment. It's a 53 Cadillac air cleaner. It was painted and airbrushed. And that's a 350 motor. Uh, it has a polished intake, a chrome-plated Edelbrock carburetor with electric choke. 
nice braided fuel line, MSD ignition, the breather caps, valve covers, and plug wire holders all match. The firewall uh, and everything's made smooth, all painted and hand pinstriped. We got vintage air conditioning, we got a chrome alternator, all polished pulleys and water pump, uh, polished radiator with a big electric fan in front, polished overflow, modern power steering with all stainless braided lines. I think it's a hydro boost steering and brake system. Uh, just very clean, tidy, nice, painted. This is a show quality motor compartment. And it's just a nice 350 motor, stock exhaust manifolds. It'll just cruise down the road all day for you. I think I'd call this car mellow yellow. Listen to that nice, low, lopy idle. This is a cool car, and it's clean in here, tidy. Comfortable, too. So I already peeled the tape from under there, that panel, the glue's dried, it's fine. Uh, awesome car. I think this is one of my all-time favorite 50 Mercs. I think the rounded door corner is custom too. I, I think it had more of a sharp corner. Uh, but yeah, gorgeous car, show quality throughout, just a nice cruiser, comfortable. Only 600 and something miles since it's been done. You know you go to a shop and you do all this custom modification, you're talking 125,000 plus the cost of the car easily. This is nowhere near that and it's ready to go right now. Go to volocars.com, uh, subscribe to our, uh, or go to volocars.com to talk to the salesman. They'll answer your questions about financing, shipping, and you can go to our uh, YouTube channel and subscribe and click on the bell icon uh, to be notified when the next video is posted. Thanks for watching.